So a question I get all the time is, why are there so many different kinds of compost? If it's specific microbes that I want and need, can I just buy those microbes or brew those microbes? And the thing is, some microbes, it's totally cost efficient to just brew them or grow them individually and then use them. But for most of the microbes, that's not, that's not the way to do it. Uh, they're, the reason compost is so powerful is because it's a flywheel of raw potential. You know, all the plants, they're made of organic matter, which is made of DNA, and DNA can take up millions of years to break down. That's why we're finding DNA in soil. Microbes source that DNA in real time. They absorb it, and then they use that in response to their environment and adapt. Now, compost, is a microbial breakdown, all these different lives, all the DNA from all the microbes, the DNA from all the plants is cycling over and over again and breaking down. Not completely though. Plants can actually absorb DNA from bacteria. If you watch Dr. James White talk in, White's talk in our soil this year, you saw that the bacteria can go inside the nuclei. And so they're bringing information, they're changing the DNA of plants manually. So compost, has all this DNA, has all these microbes that are keying into the environment and the information from the plants from that season, the endophytes from that season that are in that plant. And it's this flywheel of raw potential because you got all these raw pieces of DNA. You've got all these building blocks for life, nutrients, biology, and, and it's that raw potential that feeds into the microbes, that feeds into the plants with information from the past and in their, and their environment, as well as pieces to adapt to their environment, current environment in real time, you give through compost, good compost, the adaptation, the adaptability to those plants and those microbes through the compost. So you're giving them this raw potential so that they, and, and we know this is the case because you can take E. coli, that's commensal and endophytic and, and positive, you know, healthy, not, not dangerous. And then you can change the environment, make it anaerobic and uh, in the environment anaerobic. And you suddenly will have pathogenic E. coli. The environment dictates the genes, the microbes take up and their expression morphologically, the way they look as well as the way they behave. So in other words, compost when it's good gives us all this adaptation towards the right direction towards positive beneficial growth and health and we can't get that from a specific microbe we actually need it from that raw giant just raw potential and with with millions of species uh, with all this dna from the past from the plants all of it there that's what we actually need because that's adaptability. So the raw potential of genes allows the plants and microbes to choose, pick and choose in real time to, to, to respond to the environment. So that's adapt, adaptation. So if we want our plants to be more adaptable, we gotta give them more options. We gotta give them more DNA. We gotta give them more microbes. We gotta give them more carbon. We gotta give them all these different options and coherence of minerals, because when they do that, there's less friction. They can just pick and choose. There's less stress, which means they're more efficiently adding in nutrients. They're more efficiently growing. So, so they're growing faster. They're putting on more fruit. They're putting on denser food. It's healthier food, it's more medicinal. And this is something we can all do. All of us can participate in this process. And so whether you're doing IMO, Johnson Sioux, hot compost, vermicompost, What's amazing is that when we get to when they're good, they all look very similar. And yes, there's nuance and all this different stuff. And you wanna check the pH and the nitrate and all that, but they look, there's hallmarks of appearance of what is good and what is safe. And that is a huge reason why I do what I do and can do what I do with regenerative soil. Check out regenerativesoilscience.com. The new season for the new course begins November 3rd and check out Regenerate Soil now, the new webinar series that's free. You can sign up for the link below or the link in my profile. I'm Matt Powers, grow abundantly, learn daily, and live regeneratively. And I'll see you guys there.